okay, gonna show you more political correctness insanity that is going on in today's day and age. And just be, to be clear, I'm not supportive of Donald Trump. I'm not a pro-Trump person. But, because, you know, Trump, the Republicans and Democrats, the difference between them is very small. Uh, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not even American, but, you know, our equivalent here in Canada would be the Conservative Party versus the Liberal, but if I was American, I wouldn't fall for the whole two-party system. But, you know, there is a degree of political correctness that is just out of control in America. And, uh, basically there is... Twitter is basically preventing users from sharing some new a New York Post New York Post story uh, damaging to the Democratic presidential nominee. Basically, I'm gonna read you this from uh, was the Washington was the website called Washington Examiner. It says on Wednesday, Twitter prevented users from sharing a New York Post story damaging to the pre to the Democratic presidential nominee, while Facebook intentionally limited its distribution. It contained email evidence that Biden's son, Hunter, had introduced his father, who was then vi the vice president, to a shady Ukrainian businessman who had been uh, soliciting massive amounts of money into the younger Biden's bank account. So, basically exposing the corrupt Democratic, you know, Democratic Party, basically, how corrupt they are. And how the Democratic Party, I've always said, if Satan has the political party, it's the Democrat Party. And here in Canada, it would be the Liberal, liberal Party. But uh, the, the Twitter was censoring people who were trying to post the article, censoring tweets, uh, sharing the article. I mean, just the height of the insanity that is political correctness. The cult of social liberalism, social leftism, and political correctness are communistic and fascistic. They want to shut down any dissenting voices. Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 28. You know, just doing a comparison with Israel. Obviously, America is not Israel. I, I get that, but just doing a comparison. Jeremiah 7, verse 28. But thou shalt say unto them, This is a nation that obeyeth not the voice of the Lord their God, nor receiveth correction. Truth is perished, and is cut off from their mouth. Perfect description of America. You know, they, they don't receive correction, nor do they nor receive correction. Truth is perished. Truth is now hate speech. It's it's bigotry, it's racism, it's Islamophobia, it's homophobia, you know, transphobia, whatever. Truth is perished. Perfect description of the modern United States. Obviously, this was back with the nation of Israel, but it's a good comparison. So Twitter is now censoring tweets that are basically exposing the presidential candidates. And again, I'm not American, and at the same time, even if I was, I would not fall for this whole two-party system. Um, the answer for America is, is Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ will come back uh, and rule and reign from Jerusalem. But the insanity of political correctness will continue to plague America and Canada and all the other nations of the world. So censorship is just key for political for the political correctness insanity to push their narratives and push their social liberal agenda. So. Don't be deceived by all this, this insanity. Um, it is communist-like. It is fascist. Which, you know, fascism, Nazism, communism, all one and the same. Nazism is just communism repackaged. I, I've mentioned that before. But, you know, political correctness breeds insanity. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.